as a man thinketh in his heart so he is and I want you to listen carefully you may want to write this down that stealing is not corruption fraud is not corruption embezzlement is not corruption what then is corruption corruption is the mother of all evil corruption is not about a human being corruption is about system and what is system we know a system is the combination of multiple mechanism put together to work together to produce a predetermined result or a predetermined outcome so when errors are built into system deliberately or inadvertently then the system is corrupted and every corrupt system will always provide evil so stealing is evil fraud is evil embezzlement is evil murder is evil kidnapping these are all evils and they are all subject and outcome of a corrupt system so what then do we need to do to kill a corrupt system to kill a corrupt system we need to redevelop redefine and build a system that work to produce an ideal society God gave us a prescription we see in Numbers chapter 13 and verse 33 despite the fact that God has promised the children of Israel that he was going to take them to the promised land he took them from Egypt with a very strong hand performed so many miracles and parted the Red Sea but when it was time for them to enter the promised land men were sent to spy the land when they came back they came with a wrong result because when men have bad ideologies when men have wrong ideas it would develop into wrong ideologies and it is this ideology that's formed their philosophy of life and everyone that operates on a wrong philosophy of life will always live in error so when they came back numbers 13 and verse 33 and here's the report they gave and they said and there we saw giants in the sons of Anak which came to giants and we in our own sight we are like grasshoppers and so we were in their sight so already working on a wrong mindset and having a wrong philosophy of life they begin to live in error that God was not even able to deliver them the God who took them from Egypt the God who took them through the Red Sea the God who provided manna in the wilderness the God who enabled them to walk through the whole middle for 40 years that same God is no longer able to take them into the promised land that he has promised their fathers but we see the people someone like Joshua and Caleb in Numbers 13 and verses 30 and 31 Joshua said of course let's go at once because we can overcome it the Lord has given us the land for possession but they rejected it in verse 31 and they said no we can't we are not able to they were operating on a wrong mindset. And so when a society operates on a wrong mindset, that society is corrupt because the system of which you are operating is a corrupt system. And how then do we kill a corrupt system? How do we rebuild a corrupt system? How do we ensure that people live to the fullest? of the destiny that God has already delivered to them. In Numbers chapter 14 from verse 22. Verses 22 and 23 God vowed that these same people that have seen my glory and my miracles which I did in Egypt and in the wilderness and yet they have tempted me these ten times 
he said they have not hacking unto my voice and so what God promised in verses 29 and 30 of the same numbers for 10 that these ones shall not enter the promised land what God did was to reinvent a new society from the age of 20 upwards he enables them to wander in the wilderness of 40 years and they all perish they die so that the new generation from the newborn baby to the age of 19 which will be corrected based on a right ideology of life on a right mindset has been taught by a new leader which believes in God the new leader Joseph the son of judgment and Caleb God was able to lead them into the promised land so to heal a broken society we need leaders with the right set of mind to set policies to run over a period of time so that the corrupt elements in the society will pass away and the new breed will come up with new ideologies of life once we do that the society will come back to normal what are the 10 times that this ones has tempted God if you might to know the number 10 represent or symbolizes authority of God and his kingdom on the earth it can also symbolize responsibility completeness and fullness of the law of God so God allowed them to tempt him tempt which tempt him the ten times that they tempt God might be a subject of another discussion but very quickly let me give you one or two the first time that they tempted God in Exodus chapter 14 and verses 11 and 12 they tempt God at the crossing of the Red Sea and of course we saw the second time in Exodus 15 24 they tempt God by the bitter water of Mara they complain again in the death of sin in Exodus 16 and verse 3 and number fourth time they tempted God was collecting more manna than they were required to collect Exodus 16 and verse 20 and of course in Exodus 16 27 and 29 would see that despite the fact that God has told them to separate the Sabbath day as a holy day unto him, they still went out to collect manna on the Sabbath day. And of course, they begin to complain again. In Exodus 17, verses 2 and 3, at the water of Raphidim, they begin to complain. And number seven time they tempt God, they tempt God by engaging in the worship of idol of the golden calf. Exodus 32 verses 7 and 10 and the 8th time the tempted God was complaining at Deborah that's Numbers chapter 11 verses 1 and 2 and the ninth time complaining over lack of delicious food Numbers chapter 4 chapter 11 and verse 4 and last but not the least they tempt God at the entry to the promised land in Numbers chapter 14 from verses 1 to 4 they came to the point that they wanted to return back to Egypt because they believed that God who has taken them through all the travails and brought them to the border of the promised land was no longer able to deliver them to the uttermost. so having tempted God 10 times God took a decision that these ones they can never change their mindset because their mindset is precipitated on a wrong philosophy of life and when a man like I said begin to live on a wrong philosophy of life he continues to live in error and the only way to solve that problem is to wipe them out and develop a new generation that will hack him onto God as you listen to me today I pray that you will develop a mindset of God and that the will of God on earth you will be part of the carriers of the will of God on earth and it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus I'll come your way again very soon we shall begin to see how more to kill a corrupt society. God bless.